Hey guys, so we are here on my floor. Please ignore some of the mess behind me if you can see it. Um, I need to desperately go through some of this makeup and get rid of some of it because I'm just, I'm over it. There's so much stuff in here that I do not use and it's so unnecessary. So we're gonna do a fun little uh, declutter and I'll show you guys everything that I'm getting rid of. So if you wanna see me get rid of a buttload of makeup, then let's just go ahead and dive right in, shall we? As always, if I can find any of the um, organizers or anything that I mentioned in here that you guys are interested in, a lot of it will be linked down below. Um, so we're gonna start with eyeshadow palettes because honestly, I don't use eyeshadow that often anymore, which is really bad to say, but I just don't. And so a lot of this needs to go. Um, Probably not as much as I would hope, but yeah. So probably the first things that I am for sure getting rid of are these BH Cosmetics palettes. I bought these like a year ago and I used them a couple of times and I hated them. Um, not to mention they literally smell like straight chemicals. It's awful. Like a mat you remember like the paint? that we use in like kindergarten that were in like those really big plastic tubs that had like screw tops. I don't know if that's just like a very specific memory to myself, but that's exactly what this smells like. Like I had like big plastic tubs that sat in this like little easel in art class and they were like pure pigment. I don't know what they were, but um, the smell of this takes me purely back to those moments of painting with that paint. And that just doesn't seem safe to put it on my eyes. So we're gonna get rid of these. Um, this one is the exact same situation. Um, I thought the colors in here were really, really pretty. It just, the smell freaks me out. And honestly, the formula was kind of crap. So those are our first casualty. Um, honestly, I never use this palette. I was so excited about this, but I never use it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm over it. I'm just, I never use it. And every time I do, I really don't like the look that comes out of it. So, yeah, we're just gonna mosey that on along. I still even have like a little card in here so I can remember the names and everything, but I don't need that. So, Honestly, that's probably everything I'm getting rid of out of this drawer, but that's still, those are things that, like, have been weighing on me so hard. Yes, I'm wearing sweatpants. Please don't judge me. Um, next up, i get out of the way here. Next, we've got this drawer, which has all of my, like, small palettes in it. Um, gosh, I don't even know. I'm gonna get rid of this CoverGirl palette. I literally never use it. It's the True Naked Sunset. Um, I remember actually kind of not hating this, but everything just looked really, really similar when I do looks on it, and uh, I just don't need it. So we're gonna get rid of that bad boy. I'm also gonna get rid of this Pure Cosmetics Be Your Selfie palette. I literally never touched this. I think I got it in like, I don't know, a subscription box or something, and I have, oh wait, maybe I used it like once. I don't know, either way, I never reach for it. I have no desire to reach for it, so it's going. I'm gonna get rid of this Juvia's Place palette. I honestly was not obsessed with this formula. Like, everyone talks about how amazing it is, but I just was not obsessed with it. I really like the packaging. I think it's really pretty, and I really like the colors and, like, the concept and everything, but I don't know. The formula was just not, like, wowing me, and I just don't reach for it. Yeah, that's probably it in here. A lot of this I haven't used in like a really long time and I definitely want to. 
So next up, I feel like I need to get rid of some stuff out of here. I just don't really want to. I feel like I have a really big problem hoarding lipstick, which is very odd, but I need to get rid of some stuff in here. So the first thing that's going to go is this Physicians Formula lipstick. Um, this is with one of their uh, Muru Muru Butter lipsticks in Bejos. Um, I just, this thing is so sparkly. Let me swatch this. I really like the formula, but it is just so sparkly. I just, I cannot, I just can't, honestly. It's, it's too much. I cannot wear something like this. I look insane if I try, so that's gonna go. I'm also going to get rid of these Dose of Color lipsticks. I was so excited about these. These are from the Mickey Mouse collection that they did. Um, but they're really patchy. Um, the dark ones at least. Maybe I'll just get rid of the dark ones and keep the, the peachy nude. Because I actually kind of like this one, I think. There's that one swatched right there. Maybe I'll keep that one because I do like that peachy nude, but I remember these dark ones just being so patchy. Oh, there's another nude. Okay, there's the peachy nude, and there's like a brown nude. I'm going to get rid of the peachy nude, and what is this one? The dark purple because this one was just super patchy you can even see in the swatch I don't know if you can see it but I can see it it's patchy just on the swatch so yeah, we're gonna get rid of those two I'm also gonna get rid of these dark um, What are these called? The Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Lip Glosses. Um, the dark ones of these I'm going to get rid of because they are just way too much maintenance for a dark lip. Like, I just, I can't. Um, so I'm going to get rid of these. I am, however, going to keep the nudes because I really like this formula. It's just, I cannot wear it in a dark lip. It's just, it's too much. Um, so I have two here in a nude that I'm going to keep. Um... So I do really like this formula, I just I can't wear it in a dark blue. And then I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of the Fenty um, Diamond Milk Gloss. I just was not a fan of this at all. I don't even know why I really kept it, so that's going to go. So next up, this is probably one of the drawers that I need to declutter the most. Let me try to see if I can get some of this glare off of it. is like right below my window so the sun is just beaming right in um this is probably the drawer that I need to declutter the most simply because of my concealer cup this is just too much um so we definitely need to get rid of some stuff out of here so let's just go ahead and dive right in um I'm gonna pull out the ones that I know for sure I'm just like not getting rid of like not possible and then we'll go through everything else um so this um, I say a lot of double wear. I literally just got, I think I've used it like twice, so we're gonna keep this because I want to keep testing it. Um, there's no way in hell I'm ever getting rid of my Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting or Multi Use Sculpting Concealer, best concealer ever. I am working slowly to finish up this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I've had this for so long, I need to get, um, I need to use it up and get rid of it. So, using that. Um, this Benefit Boing has uh, also been a new addition to my collection and I've been really really enjoying it so we're going to keep this one. Y'all already know the story with my e.l.f. Cosmetics camo concealer and my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Um, just literally the best concealer combination ever if you have dry under eyes that are like creepy and uh, textured. Just oh, beautiful. So love those. I am going to keep my Burt's Bees concealer. It's not really concealer. It's really more like a 
um, corrector, but I love this stuff. I do also have my Makeup Revolution uh, Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. I really, really like this one. What is happening right now? We'll do that. Um, I really like this one, and this is a fairly new addition to my collection as well. So one that I do know I'm going to get rid of is the um, Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This one was just so weird to me. I feel like it did absolutely nothing. Um, and I just, I was not a fan. Plus it looked pretty dry too. So I'm going to get rid of this one. It just, it didn't really work for me. I'm also going to get rid of this Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, I haven't had this one that long, but it didn't wow me. Like, I, I didn't hate it. If you need a good, like, drugstore concealer, I would recommend this one. It's pretty good. But, um... As far as like keeping it in my collection, I just don't think I need it or like have use for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I'm also gonna get rid of this NARS uh, concealer. I've had this for so long, it's absolutely disgusting how long I've had this. Um, so this is gonna go. I am gonna keep my um, Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. Everyone was obsessed with this with this for a really long time for a really good reason. It's a really great concealer. I just said really a million times, but it's a fantastic concealer. Um, so I am going to keep this because I do want to try and use it up. This is just so good for those like everyday, like need some hydration type of situations. Love it. Both of these concealers I'm going to get rid of. Uh, the Smashbox one I actually really like. It's a really great concealer, um, but I just am not reaching for it. And I have so many others that I love. That I just don't need this one and then the naked studio skin or naked skin whatever it is um, I honestly don't remember what I thought about this but that probably says more than anything in the world so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass it along and not even worry about it uh, there are so many other dif um, concealers in my collection that I just I have no use for this one really and then these bad boys um, they're honestly really similar in my opinion, despite the fact that they're supposed to be like completely different. Um, I feel like I'm going to keep this one and then get rid of the uh, like dark circle corrector just because I am trying to use up that Maybelline one and I find that those two are really, really similar. So I'm going to get rid of this one and then keep the uh, full cover one because I do really like this one. Um, I like both of them, but I don't know. Probably just a random choice, but that's what we're going with. Alright, so this is my current situation now with concealers. Yes, I know it's still way too many, but I really like concealers, so we're just going to roll with it. For these primers, I'm just going to quickly... Um, let me see. I'm going to get rid of the Becca one, finally. I just... I never reach for it, honestly. Um... So I'm just going to go ahead and pass it on. It's probably really out of date now. I've had this for like three years. So I'm just going to toss that. Um, and then I am going to get rid of the Dr. Brandt uh, Luminizer Primer. This does absolutely nothing for my pores. It's not that shiny. And honestly, I just prefer something that's moisturizing versus luminizing. So this is just going to go. Next up, we've got highlighters and blush and bronzer. Uh, I'm not going to get too much out of here, but there are a few things that I just don't feel the need to keep. Um, I honestly have been feeling really bored with my highlighters recently, which I know is a weird thing to say, but I've just like had such a hankering for finding a new highlighter. So if you have like a really great recommendation for highlighter, please leave it down below. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm standing at the moment. I just like, I need a new highlighter in my life. I am going to get rid of this Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. I really like the packaging. It's all like glittery and pretty. But as far as the actual product, I'm just not really a fan. Um, so yeah, we're going to get rid of this. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this Milani bronzer. I have it in the shade 01 Sunlight. I feel like this just disappears on my skin, like, immediately. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll put a bunch on and then find a highlighter. And then by the time I'm, like, putting on my highlighter, I'm, like, looking at my face, like, where is my bronzer? It, like, disappears. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know 
what is happening with it. I know a lot of people really love this. It just, I don't know, it literally just disappears off my skin instantly. So we're just going to get rid of it because I never reach for it. So I just don't have the time for that. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and get rid of this Becca highlighter. Um, I love this highlighter and I really want to keep it, but I don't know. I just don't need it. It's purple. I never reach for it. Um, I kind of keep it more just because I really like the packaging, but that's insane. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And then finally, we're going to get rid of uh, some face palettes. So much stuff in here that's so unnecessary. Um, the first thing that's coming is the uh, Wet n Wild contouring palette. I literally never reach for this. It just is not something that I use ever, so I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I'm also going to get rid of the Tardis Pro Glow palettes. Um, there's literally nothing wrong with this. I just never reach for it, and it just seems unnecessary to keep it. So, that's going to go. Next up, I'm going to get rid of this uh, Pacifica Duo. This is their Coconut Blush um, Beautiful Cheeks palette in Beaming and Tender Heart. I... I really like this. I just never reach for it. I think it would be good for travel and everything. Um, I, th I thought it was really cool that the back is actually a mirror. Um, but I don't know. I just never reach for it. And I have so many blushes that I love. But I just don't need these. The colors are kind of blah too. So yeah, that's going to go. Now this little cup here I'm honestly gonna get rid of like everything in here <laughs> this is so bad um, I am gonna keep these are all of my like liquid shadows um, they're mainly Stila I'm gonna keep the um, the vivid jade and the vivid garnet maybe I'm gonna probably get rid of everything else because most of these are like dried up and bad anyways. And then I really did not enjoy this ColourPop one. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these. Let me double check that these aren't dried up. It has been like a year, so I would not be surprised. Oh no, we're good. Oh my god, look at that color. Seriously, look at those shades. They are fabulous and beautiful, and oh, I love these liquid shadows from Stila. My favorite ones are by far, where are they right here? Um, by far the matte ones up here, the suede shades. I love these, but I really like these vivid ones they did too. Alright, and finally we're gonna get rid of stuff in this top drawer really quickly because I know my battery is about to die and I know this video is getting long. Um, this is kind of like my top drawer where I put all of my like favorite stuff and daily stuff, um, but some of this really needs to go. So I'm going to pull out, honestly, like all of these eye primers need to go. I do not reach for them at all anymore because I found my absolute love in the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This thing's amazing. So I'm just going to get rid of all of these other ones that I have, except for the glitter primer. Yeah. I like my glitter glue. As far as like eyebrow stuff, I really only use like clear gels anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of this Milani um, Stay Put Brow Shaping Gel. This was fine, but I just was not obsessed with it. Um, I'm also gonna get rid of this one from Joa Beauty. It's their Brow Down to Me Brow Pencil and Gel. Um, this was the one with like the really really thick teardrop shape one uh, pencil, and then a gel at the bottom. If you're interested in any of this Joa Beauty stuff, I have an entire video on my channel where I tested a bunch of it out, um, so I'll link that down below, but I don't know, I never reached for this, so it's just going to go. I'm also going to get rid of this Milk Makeup, uh, this is their Kush uh, Fiber Gel in Grind. I really liked this for a really long time, but it's pretty much dried up now, so that's got to go. Um, two of my favorites, though, are the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This one's so good. And then the NYX Bear With Me uh, Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Brow Setter. I really like these. These two are, like, my favorites right now, so those are nice. 
And then these are just kind of like backup pencils that I'll use eventually once I run out of my favorites, which currently are the Joa Beauty uh, Precision Brow Pencil. This one's like my all-time favorite Holy Grail thing type of thing. And then this is the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. I love this pencil right now. It's so nice. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this sample of the Smashbox Primerizer. I just was never wowed by this, and I just don't feel the need to keep it. And then I'm also going to get rid of this Tracetique uh, highlighter situation. It's like a highlighting stick. Um, it's really pretty. I just, I don't know, I never reach for it, and I just don't see the point in keeping it. Yeah, so that is everything that I'm getting rid of today. I got rid of so much stuff. Um, it's like all surrounding me at the moment, but. But I hope you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.